Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your Women Only Wednesday matchup comparison, Vicky Gates versus Yazina Oroquin, and I, I hope that it's Yazina, I don't I don't think it's Yaxina, I think it's Yazina, like Xena, the warrior princess. Anyway guys, if any of you guys are having a, a rough time, a rough go at life, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and give me a message, I'll talk, you know what I'm saying, we can talk through it, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, religious, so to speak, you know, read the Quran or the Bible or anything like that, but I do believe in magical horses, seen one one time, so if that's your thing, go ahead, we can talk. <laughs> anyway, guys, I have no idea where that came from, go to the front double bicep pose and wow, well, that changed. Yazina is actually quite a few inches taller than Vicky Gates, Vicky Gates bending at the knees as well, so that takes away from her height, so a lot shorter, but definitely not short on muscle bellies, as Louis Marco, muscle bellies, baby please, papa, <laughs> so funny, so funny, better V taper I think as well, I think the smaller lady is going to fetch a victory here, now these two did compete together, but their placings were so different, and it was at the 2003, I believe. And this is from the 2003 for Vicky Gates. But Yazina placed like maybe second or third. And Vicky Gates way down in sixth or seventh. I, I should have I wrote that down. But anyway, I don't believe it was fair. Now, Yazina, guys. She's 54, I think. 54? She looks like a young, you know, a spring girl. A girl that you'd see out and you'd ask for a date. But anyway, guys. Vicky Gates, look at the bicep peaks on her. Genetically speaking, she's better than Ronnie Coleman, for goodness sakes. Anyway, I would give this one to Vicky. Go to the side chest development. And I think Yazina, she's, she's just too big, I think. But this is a different type of pose. I think they, they tried to pose more elegantly back in the 2003 for the women's. But there is this pose here. And it doesn't show the whole body, but it is more of a, uh, you know, a muscular pose. And muscle for muscle, I still think that, that's mind-blowing. The 54-year-old Yazina, I believe it's 53 or 54, but either way, guys, this is better than Dexter Jackson looking, you know, this is Yazina looks unbelievable here. Go to the uh, next side shot. Now, this one, I honestly don't think that... Uh, Vicky Gates can handle the condition of this unbelievably well-preserved woman. This uh, Oroquin, Yazina Oroquin, so impressed. Taking nothing ab away from Vicky Gates. Remember those bicep peaks? So, you know, one for one, I would say. Go to the back shots. This is the only back shot we have, unfortunately. And for those of you who thought it was going to be unfair... To use the, I guess, the the middle-aged Yazina. And with all due respect, but hey, if you're 54, 53, 54, and you look like this, I would be telling everybody. I would go to the store, you know, purchase a product. Hello, I'm 54, you know, blah, 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 blah. Right away, you would tell them. <laughs> I think she's defeating Vicky Gates. And like I said, Yazina was placing far ahead of Vicky Gates back in 2003, so... You gotta think that this was a more fair comparison. And yeah, Zena, one of the greatest, one of the greatest female bodybuilders of all time. If not for her physique, structure, things of that nature, for her longevity. For her longevity. Go to the abs and thigh. And this is not to disrespect Vicky Gates. Vicky Gates is an unbelievable bodybuilder. Like I said, her bicep peaks, genetically speaking, better than Ronnie Coleman's. Better than Ronnie Coleman. It's too bad that they didn't get together. You know what I'm saying? Vicky Gates and Ronnie Coleman. Wait a second here. I'm just reading right now, and I guess they dated for nine years. I'm just joking. I knew that right from the get-go, guys. Vicky Gates and Ronnie Coleman. They were together, and it's... You know, <laughs> hate to be a matchmaker, but it's too darn bad that they didn't have any children. You know, would have been instant Olympia champions, whether they're female or male. You know... Oh, wow. But either way, guys, here is your winner. Yazina Oroquin, if that is her real name, or if that is the uh, p 
pronunciation of it. Guys, I'm telling you right now, I do not think that there's anybody that, you know, looked in their best. I mean, she looks like never before. She looks like she's in her best condition here. And I never realized she was of that age. I don't want to call her old. I don't want to call her old. But hey, I mean, if you're 53, 54 and you look like this, you should be proud of it. You should be proud of it for sure. Better than Al Beckles, for goodness sakes. Better than Dexter Jackson. Maybe even better than Robbie Robinson, if you could imagine that one. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel and get your female requests in. No male requests. Come on, guys. Amazonka. Haven't seen any Amazonka request. Natalia. You know, good, good, good female bodybuilders out there. Come on, let's let's see some good ones for next week. Have a great day.